walk out of shop anymore and then like she was like this were really the last ones and I was like okay fine you sold me take my money take my card I also just think I have a shopping problem so like Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I purchased from Paris. I know I showcased a few of the items on the vlog but I thought I would just do a sit down and show you guys all the items all together and kind of like a little bit of a breakdown of why I purchased in Paris, some of the vintage shops that I went to. So I'll list all of that below of like where I went and like I'll put a little locations tag for everything in the corner one of these corners of my YouTube video while I talk about each item. But going into it, why I purchased in Europe, I think a lot of people were confused on how the VAT refund works, but I'll give you guys a little bit of my experience and how it does work. So when you go into the store, you pay for the item full price, but you just have to let the person know, so the employee know, that you're a visitor here and you always have to bring your passport. So whenever you're going shopping, just bring your passport with you because they need your passport to fill out their form. So you're paying for the full amount at the store, but when you're going to the airport, you have to keep that paper with you, all the paperwork that you purchased your items from. In the airport, there's a little area for like your VAT refund. Um, you just go there and like they'll help guide you. There's like people there that help guide you so you can either ask them to get a cash refund or put it back on your card which I think putting it back on your card is better for you because you get a higher percentage back don't hold me to it but yeah for example one of the bags I purchased it was 2100 euros in Canada it's around like 3500 Canadian so already like if you're converting it it's cheaper on top of that I got my VAX refund I calculated it and I saved $800 on purchasing that item so I think it's definitely worth it let me get into it I think I'll start off with my first item which was my prized possession I think you guys know if you follow me on Instagram but it was this Chanel bag. I really knew that I wanted to purchase um, a vintage Chanel bag. Like Chanel is going up in price and buying it in retail would have been a lot more expensive. This is a jersey material and I really like this little, little chain on here as well. It's in really great condition. So for this one I didn't have to pay tax on it so they didn't give me like a form for that when I'm going back to the airport. But just like the little detailings on this is so cute. I open it up and inside it's like a beautiful color so this one the authenticity is the code in here i think this was a 2016 2017 release but i've just never seen this bag so i thought it'd be a great purchase and actually with everything i'll break down how much it costs and how much i get back in euros and then you guys can just do the math for like how much it is in your country and like how much you're saving so for this one I didn't get a refund but this one I paid 3,500 euros it's not leather it's jersey so I mean to me it was worth it to others it may not but I love her and I'll keep her and cherish her forever and I like that the straps it can be longer and crossbody or you can make it short this one's short and you can wear it like this Super cute. This one was like the one item I really splurged on. My next item that I purchased was a Goyard card holder. I originally had the black one. They definitely went up. I think they went up in price because I purchased this back the last time I went to Paris, which was 2017, 2018. At that time, it was Chinese New Year's and you know, that was my excuse. It was Chinese New Year's. Red is lucky with Goyard, which I didn't realize. The black is least expensive and then if you want color, it gets more expensive which is interesting. When I first went to Paris and I purchased my laptop holder, I was going between black and blue, and then I just decided on the blue because I was like, you know what, it's different, I like it, but I didn't know there was like a huge price difference, so if I knew that, I definitely would have gone with the black. Let's do a review about this card holder. It has two little slots on this side, two little slots on this side, and the inside it is yellow. Put in like six cards, into this card holder and then I also have like some cash or receipts and it still fits. Let's talk about price. 340 euros and I get back 41 euros back. Next item, I got this Celine bag, which I put in my vlog. So if you guys watched my vlog, you would have seen this one. This is the bag. So it comes in brownish color, but it's like a burgundy brown. And then it also comes in, I think a black. But the white just spoke to me. I really like white bags. I know like people get worried about them ruining easily. But this one isn't low so it won't rub on my jeans and whatnot. And it's just like a... Like even with this outfit, even though this is like 
pajama vibes um it looks really cute with and this was like the last one in store it came that day and that's what sold me on it. I was like, oh my god, it's the last one. I can't even think about it because what if it gets sold out? Afterwards, when I was like shopping around, none of the stores carried the white ones, so I felt like it was meant to be. <laughs> that has like a little Celine logo here. The insides suede, which I'm kind of scared about. I'll like line it with something. I'll definitely take care of her. She's so cute. Look at her in all angles. And like the only other white bag I have is my Dior saddle bag, which I love and I wear all the time. I thought it would be nice to get another one and it, this one's like a little bit different. But literally it pairs with everything, whether that be neutral or like a darker black jacket, leather jacket. I think this would go really well with it. I just have to be a little more careful with it. But let's talk about pricing for this one. So this one was $2,100 and I got back 252 euros back the other item i got was from dior i purchased these dior earrings let's talk about price for those ones it was 420 euros i got back 50.4 euros back like were these really worth it a lot of people would say no because it's costume jewelry but i liked it and i think that's what matters my other items were the Saint Laurent sunglasses. These are the sunglasses. I don't know, there's like reflection, but they're cute. They're very flattering on. So yeah, this one was a little bit of an impulse. Okay, so this one was 275 euros. I get 33 euros back. I just ran to get the other item because I forgot that I purchased these. These ones I got in store. I got 37 and a half there's those black chanel ones that i saw as well which i'll show you an image here i don't know i didn't love those i don't know if it's because of the flap these ones are so cute i think i could wear them with jeans i could wear them with white linen pants the dress more so in the spring summertime i don't know if i want to wear them in the winter especially in canada in the slush these ones are the moccasins loafers are 1150 euros the 20 percent is already in there and then I got back 149.5 euros. And then I just got smaller items. I wanted to show you guys because in Paris, their clips are so sturdy. They're a lot more expensive. If I drop this, it won't break. So we went to, I think it was like a pharmacy type of place. This one was 36 euros. And then this one, I just, I honestly forgot. But like they were still like relatively expensive because 36 euros converted to Canadian so this was like $50 Canadian this one has like clips like do you see that made in France literally perfect and then I went to I really wanted leather gloves like this was something I was looking for for a while I know Aritzia carries some but I was like I'm in France let's see what I can do um so I went to like this first boutique and if I remember the name I'll pop it up here this one was a little more expensive, and I found Hermes leather gloves. But those were going for 500 euros, and I'm like, they're vintage, and do I really want to pay 500 euros for these gloves? Not really. Not really. And then we passed by the store, and it was literally, they only sold leather gloves. Like, that was like, like, that was the whole store. It was like gloves. It was so cute. And then we all ended up just getting gloves, and it was so cute because like they, you try on different sizes, like your hand glove sizes in a seven I could have done six and a half but I also have longer nails so I stuck with a seven and are they not cute are we obsessed and like they're lined it's genuine leather and they're lined with wool cashmere I don't know but these ones were 60 euros which I went from going to almost buying the Hermes ones for 500 to 60 or 70 I think these were 60 euros like hello and then um that was it for myself but then i surprised my sister with some sneakers i don't have them here because i already gave them to her but i will pop an image here um really love these sneakers they're so cute honestly i wanted them for myself um, I went to this vintage store, so I'll pop it up here. There's definitely more vintage stores out there, which I would recommend you guys checking out. Um, but these were the ones that I ended up purchasing from. If you purchase vintage, you're not going to get 
tax back from it but those were the items I purchased on my trip to Paris I'll link everything I can down below I'll link the items that I purchased the names thank you guys so much for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time bye I, 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 I,